a blood clot of any kind, always a serious concern. Today, Dr. John Colloran with CHI St. Vincent Heart Clinic, Arkansas, is here to tell us about a specific type of clot called deep vein thrombosis. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. being here. Thanks for inviting me. So uh, it's something I've heard of. Um, I think it's a it has something to do with your legs, but tell us a little yes. bit about what it is. Yes, well, uh, blood clot in the legs can be a serious problem. And uh, typically, um, people may not be aware of it, actually. Mm -hmm. The problem is, though, it, if the blood clot stays in the leg, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily going to cause you much trouble. But if it travels through the body to the lungs, then it could be a major problem. Now, there could be people walking around with this in their leg, maybe don't know about it. How would you know? Well. Some people have symptoms, some may not. Um, sometimes uh, you can have some painful swelling, redness, tenderness of the leg, mm -hmm. and that may be a clue that there's a problem. But oftentimes people may not uh, realize there's a blood clot in the leg, and they may just think they've injured their leg somehow. Okay, and some kind of added sensitivity to your leg at all? Just kind of pain? Y yes, you, well, tenderness, mm -hmm. painful swelling, redness, those are clues or signs of possible blood clot in the leg. And then there's times where that can actually become more serious and you were talking about yes. travel other yes. places. Yes, yes. Well, that the mo if the blood clot stays inside the leg, it's mm -hmm. not necessarily a problem. It's if it travels to the lungs, then it can be a very serious problem and even can lead to death. Oh, and and are, that's called a pulmonary embolus. And that obviously is a, a much more uh, serious problem. situation. Yes. Yeah. So what would cause deep vein th thrombosis? Uh, there's a lot of causes of deep vein thrombosis. Um, and most the most common reason is inactivity. Uh, you hear about the person that's been in a plane for a long mm -hmm. period of time or in a long car ride for long periods of time, hours on end and not getting out to uh, exercise and that predisposes them to developing clots. Elderly people, people that are in the hospital, people that have certain malignancies, pregnancy, people that are on birth control pills, women that are on birth control pills, mm -hmm. or even women that are on estrogen supplements are predisposed to blood clots. Trauma can cause blood clots too. And are smokers more at risk? Smokers are definitely more at risk for having blood clots, okay. yes. And then um, talking back to the uh, lung symptoms, how would you know mm -hmm. if it got into your lung? Well, the most common symptom is shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. uh, people may develop lightheadedness, dizziness because their blood pressure may fall, uh, but shortness of breath, coughing, sometimes bringing up bloody uh, sputum uh, will be an idea that there may be a blood clot in the lungs. Okay, and then we're talking a little bit about um, the treatments and, and kind of what can you do if you do find that you have this? Uh, well, the, the way we actually diagnose it typically is an ultrasound. And when somebody comes into the emergency room with painful swelling, um, with erythema or redness of the leg, we usually will get an ultrasound. But the treatment is blood thinners. That's the mainstay of therapy is blood thinners. There's other devices and things that we use. We try to prevent blood clots from occurring with compression stockings and, um, and devices that we wrap around the legs, some called sequential compression devices that may prevent blood clots from occurring, especially in patients that are hospitalized or after surgery. Uh, there's a device called an inferior vena cava that can be inserted in the ma <clears throat> major vein um, of the body, and that can prevent the blood clot from traveling up to the lungs. And obviously, uh, a doctor would want to monitor that situation once finding out about it, I'm sure. Yes, yes, yeah, continuously. yes. Yes, well, uh, people are on blood thinners, usually months at a time, six mm -hmm. months, uh, sometimes longer, up to a year. If a blood clot travels to the lungs, we try and keep people on blood thinners for the rest of their life. And how often do you see cases like this, people coming in with, with pain and maybe have no idea that they have this? Uh, it's relatively common, but typically it's in people that are elderly, that are inactive, mm -hmm. uh, people that, of course, have been in a hospital as well. Uh, but the incidence of blood clots is around one to two in a thousand. Um, uh, roughly about 900,000 people in the United States will develop blood clots in their legs, and around 60,000 will die because of pulmonary emboli.
Wow, those are some big numbers when you really think about yes. it, though. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and do you see it a little more in women or men, or does it kind of equally? Uh, it, it's equal, uh, and uh, there's not necessarily a predisposition to a certain gender. Mm -hmm. uh, however, in, in women, we're very concerned in women that have been on birth control pills, mm -hmm. that are pregnant, or postmenopausal on estrogen supplements. All right, and you obviously, there's some uh, prevention methods up there on our screen uh, talking about ways to prevent it, all good things to uh, know about. And of course, if you're uh, curious at all about this, you can visit CHI St. Vincent and contact them uh, there. Thank you so much for being with us, Doctor. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, well, stay with us. We're going to be